Hello everyone, welcome back to our session and yes, today we are going to discuss the theoretical part of chemical bonding. We have already discussed its questions, right? All those questions which were previously asked in our SSC examination. Today we are going to have the theoretical section. The whole session is going to be theoretical and here we will be understanding what is this chemical bonding, what type of chemical bondings are actually there and what are its example. Now, today what's special? We are also going to include those animations so that we will be easily understanding this particular topic. What kind of animations? What are those images? Let's have a look. First of all, talking about this chemical bonding. What is chemical bonding? See, if I talk about chemical bond, so it is a force of attraction between any two atoms in a molecule to attain the stability. What? I am talking about stability, right? So, if I talk about this cricket bat or baseball bat, what will happen if this bat breaks, for example? Now, what you will do? You will put some adhesive. I will just make a tube. You will do what? You will put some adhesive over here. Why? In order to again join that bat. Now, why you want to join that bat? We want to join this bat in order to attain the stability. Correct? So, this is the non-living thing where I am talking about stability. Stability is very important in our life, right? Uh, yeah. So, stability is very important in our life as well. If I talk about, about our life, whether mine, whether yours, we also want our life to be stable. We, we should have a good amount of money. We should have good family so that we can say that our life is sorted. That is, we also want the stability. In the similar manner, if I talk about those elements also, those particular elements which we discussed about them in the periodic table in the last class. Remember, when I am talking about those 118 elements which are present in periodic table, we have metals, non-metals, metalloids. Obviously, those elements also want stability. So, the same thing is applicable each and ev at every location. That is, at this non-living thing also, for us living things also, right? So, yes, what is chemical bonding? So, it is a force of attraction between any two atoms in a molecule. Why? In order to attain the stability. Simple. So, this was chemical bond. Now, moving forward, talking about atoms. So, these atoms, how they are actually gaining the stability? Let's have a look. So, atoms attain stability in the following ways. Which are they? First one is ionic bond. Second is covalent bond. Third is coordinate bond. Now, you must be wondering, sir, what? What are they? See, we have already taken these examples, right? But today, in the theoretical part, we will be understanding about them one by one. Okay. So, we will be doing what? First of all, we will be understanding ionic bonding. What is that? Along with the examples. Then, we will talk about covalent bond. What is it? Along with this example. And then, we will be going forward with the coordinate bond. And in the ending, I will tell you which one is the strongest bond. Fine. So, okay. Here, before moving forward, let me tell you. There is an example official application which is one stop solution for all the government job aspirants. Here we have live paid courses with the test series. Then we have free subject wise and topic wise quizzes with the report card. Apart from that, we also have job alert, admit card and examination date. Then we have all exam previous year PDF with the solution. Free all India scholarship with the report card. Then topic wise free live classes. And also free full length and sectional test with the report card, free exam wise PDFs and practice at PDF. Now talking about current affairs. Current affairs are very, very important for our examination, right? Not only today's, not only yesterday's, not only monthly, but also if I talk about last six months, it is very important. So all those current affairs you will be getting here. That is daily, weekly, monthly current affairs you can get from this application itself. Then you have unlimited subject wise practice set questions. All these at a single platform. Now, what you will do? You will go to Play Store, type example over there, click on the install button, click on the open part and just do the registration and finally start using it. Simple. Okay. So, now there is a Diwali Dhamaka offer for you where you will be getting 75% off. What do you have to do? Just use code Diwali75. So, here you can uh, enroll in the courses of the exam per. So, what you can do? Just use the code Diwali75 and you are going to get the discount of 75%. So, this offer is only limited till 27th of October. 
सो प्लीज हैव अ लुक एट इट इट्स अ ग्रेट न्यूज फॉर यू ऑल राइट ओके सो लेट्स मूव फॉरवर्ड नाउ नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट आइनिक बॉन्डिंग वी अंडरस्टूड वी वर डिस्कसिंग थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ बॉन्डिंग फर्स्ट वन आइनिक देन कोवेलेंट एंड थर्ड वुड बी कॉर्डिनेट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट इज आइनिक बॉन्डिंग इफ आई टॉक अबाउट इज आइनिक बॉन्डिंग सो आइनिक बॉन्ड इज फॉर्म बिटवीन एलिमेंट्स ऑफ वेरी हाई इलेक्ट्रो नेगेटिविटी डिफरेंस नाउ बिफोर अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस पार्ट वी मस्ट नो वेर आर मेटल्स वेर आर नॉन मेटल्स एंड वॉट अबाउट दिस इलेक्ट्रो नेगेटिविटी राइट लेट्स एव अ लुक वेन आई ट्राई टू ड्रॉ पीरियडिक टेबल वी नो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल कम्स हाइड्रोजन वाई बिकॉज एटमिक नंबर ऑफ हाइड्रोजन इज वन एंड आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू जस्ट रिमेंबर द सीक्वेंस ऑर्डर ऑफ दीज पर्टिकुलर एलिमेंट्स विच वन हाइड्रोजन हीलियम लिथियम बेरिलियम बोरॉन कार्बन नाइट्रोजन ऑक्सीजन फ्लोरिन नियोन एंड सोन मिनिमम ट्वेंटी मैक्सिमम थर्टी दिस इज द गुड अमाउंट वे वी मस्ट बी अवेयर ऑफ वॉट इज द सीक्वेंस ऑर्डर तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल कम्स दी हाइड्रोजन विद एटमिक नंबर वन दैट मीन्स इट विल बी हैविंग वन इलेक्ट्रॉन then here comes helium then lithium beryllium boron carbon nitrogen oxygen fluorine and neon remember that part now i gave you the trick halina ki rab se faryad remember halina ki rab se faryad then beta mange car scooter baap razi remember bagan alu gajar in thela remember that part then kahe shiv ji sune parvati remember that part then nahi priyanshi as turbhi then o se tipo then fasal bar yaat then helium neon argon krypton you can create any kind of trick which you feel like the main thing is for writing this table is i want to explain one thing what i'll do i'll just use black pen over here in order to explain this this is the first group and yesterday in the last class we have understood if i'm talking about first group that means it will be having valency 1 so i'll take out sodium from here if i'll go with this 17th group this means it is going to have seven electrons in the outermost shell and i'll take the example of chlorine over here now why i am taking the sodium and chlorine i've already told you it is having one electron in the outermost shell it is having seven electrons in the outermost shell right now how they are going to perform bonding this we are going to understand see sodium if i talk about sodium here the configuration is 281 why because its atomic number is 11 understood hydrogen helium lithium beryllium boron carbon nitrogen oxygen fluorine neon then comes here sodium part so here it is of 11 number that is it will be having 11 electrons and with using this formula 2n square again and again asked in the examination very important formula when i'll go with this 2n square i can understand that the innermost shell will be having two electrons that is k shell then l shell will have eight electrons and i'll write here k l m so m shell is going to have one electron in the similar manner when i'll go with the chlorine it will be having 2 8 7 that means it requires one electron right and it can donate one electron why in order to attain the stability that is in the outermost shell it is going to have eight electrons now and here after attaining this it will be having eight electrons again in the outermost shell because it will take one electron and it will donate the electron simple in this manner what is going to happen both of them will attain the stability and both of them are going to be stable in nature why because we know that each and every element wants to be stable correct so how they are going to be stable they have to complete their outermost shell so outermost shell just have a look only one electron is there it's not complete but as soon as it donates the electron over here it is going to have eight electrons in the outermost shell and hence it will be stable it will have eight electrons again in the outermost shell hence it will be stable so what is going to happen sodium will donate one of the electron how many one electron so here after donating the electron it will have a positive charge right now if i'll talk about chlorine chlorine is also going to do what chlorine will accept one electron that's why there would be negative charge and hence there will be a bonding now in this kind of bonding i have seen in this kind of bonding i have seen that there is 
ट्रांसफर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन देर इज ट्रांसफरिंग ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन फ्रॉम वन लोकेशन टू एनदर सो प्लीज रिमेंबर वेन एवर वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द ट्रांसफर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन दिस इज आइनिक बॉन्डिंग वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वाइन नाउ वी हैव अंडरस्टूड दिस ट्रांसफर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन वी नो अबाउट दिस फॉर्मुला वी नो अबाउट वैलेंस इलेक्ट्रॉन वी नो अबाउट वैलेंसी वी ऑल्सो नो दैट वेन एवर फॉर्मुला इज मेड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी राइट मेटल and then non metal and hence finally the formula that is made is nacl or any of another formula first of all always metal is going to come then non metal will come okay so we have discussed about this formula as well now if i talk about this electronegativity part so it is the tendency of gaining the electron right so whenever we move from left to right we were here in the periodic table whenever i'll move from left to right Electronegativity is going to increase. Please remember, electro positivity is opposite of electro negativity. So it is the tendency of gaining the electron. As soon as you are going forward till right, your tendency of gaining electron is also increasing. But if I talk about this 18th group, this 18th group does not react with anyone, or I'll say it is neither requiring the electron nor it is. Gaining the electron, nor it is a uh, giving the electron. Neither it takes nor it gives. And hence we say that they are noble gases or noble elements. We talk about them as a inert gas as well. Okay. So what I have told, I have told about gaining and taking of electrons, and we have understood what is electronegativity, right? So let's get back to a point. We were discussing ionic bond is formed between the elements of very high electronegativity difference, right? Now the donor atom has the low ionization potential. what is low ionization potential low ionization potential means the energy which is actually required to give uh, to take out the electron from the outermost shell here if i'll talk about sodium so easily that electron can be taken out right now so what is there we are talking about the donor atom has the low ionization potential to form a cation and that's true low ionization potential that means easily this electron can be taken out why this electron can be taken out easily because it wants to have the stability right so that's why it has positive charge and whenever we are talking about positive charge this means we are talking about cation remember whenever we will talk about the gaining of electron that is negative charge that is actually your anion okay so the receptor atom has the higher electron affinity now what is this term affinity affinity means love towards the electron i'll write for you all what is electron affinity it is love for electrons the electron affinity so love towards the electrons and that to high high electron affinity this means much love for the electron now who will show the love for electron who would be requiring it i was talking about chlorine chlorine was requiring one electron so it has high electron affinity that is it shows high love and since sodium is donating it is not showing love simple so it's the simple concept you can talk about boyfriend and girlfriend also i love her this means she will be with me right i uh, you can talk about he loves and it's not only about boyfriend girlfriend it's about our family as well right so yes it's just a state of mind whatever you think you can take it easier fine so okay let's move forward the receptor atom has high electron affinity to form anion and anion means we are talking about this negative charge so we have discussed one of the Or formula that is NaCl, right? NaCl, sodium with 11 atomic number. That is one of the electron in the outermost shell. Then there chlorine, seven in the outermost shell. So one was given to the chlorine. Chlorine had eight. Sodium when gave one, it became two comma eight. That is outermost shell was with eight electrons in both the parts, and hence NaCl was formed. In the similar manner, CaCl2, K2O, all these are the examples of ionic bonding. Now. We have understood this concept. Now let's have a look again. If I talk about Na and Cl, so just have a look. For Na, we knew eleven. For chlorine, we knew seventeen. So Na, two in the innermost shell, then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in the outermost. Sorry, in the next shell, that is this was the K shell, this was L shell, and the outermost shell is having one electron. In the similar manner, if I talk about chlorine, two in the inner, then eight here. And then in the outermost shell, seven here. So this one electron is actually donated to this part. See, just have a look. This one electron is donated here, and here now it is becoming what? Seven plus one. Total it is 
सेवन प्लस वन इक्वल टू एट इलेक्ट्रॉन सो एट इन वी हैव इन क्लोरिन एंड एट इन सोडियम एंड हेंस बोथ आर स्टेबल देयर फोर दे आर फॉर्मिंग एन ए सी एल एंड दिस इज द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ आयनिक बॉन्डिंग सो ये जस्ट है लुक तो बॉन्डिंग ऑफ एन ए सी एल सोडियम डोनेट अ वैलेंस इलेक्ट्रॉन टू अ क्लोरिन एटम टू फॉर्म अ सोडियम आयन एंड अ क्लोराइड आयन नॉट टॉक अबाउट आयंस इफ आई टॉक अबाउट आयंस वी आर ऑलरेडी अवेयर ऑफ हियर वी कैन डिवाइड दम एंड अंडरस्टैंड इफ आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट कैटाइन we are talking about positive charge if i am talking about anion then we are talking about negative charge where i can give you the example if i am talking about na plus this is cation if i am talking about cl minus this is anion simple okay so let's move forward now now talking about bonding of nacl so let's have a look at it in the theoretical manner so a sodium atom has 281 Uh, if i will talk about its electronic configuration it gains a noble gas configuration by losing an electron just have a look just after losing this electron it has configuration 28 which is actually a noble gas configuration this means its outermost shell is already filled outermost shell is filled this means we are talking about octet that is eight electrons in the outermost shell then a chlorine atom has 287 configuration where if i'll talk about 7 so it requires one more electron in order to achieve noble gas configuration what it will do sodium is going to donate one of the electron it will be having 288 and hence chlorine will also achieve noble gas configuration now if sodium gives electron to chlorine we get na plus ion and cl minus ion each ion has a noble gas configuration the positive and negative ions attract each other we know that correct whenever we talk about charges opposite charges always attract each other so the same thing is happening here the positive and negative ions are attracting each other to form ionic bonds where in sodium chloride so if i'll talk about the formula nacl how is it exactly formed sodium was positive this was negative both are attracted towards each other simple okay let's move forward now now talking about ionic bonding of mgcl2 in the similar manner see we were talking about nacl in the similar manner we can talk about mgcl2 just have a look magnesium atom donates two valence electrons to form magnesium ion and two chloride ions let's have a look here's a magnesium right now here magnesium is actually having two electrons in the outermost shell just have a look one two and in the similar manner if i'll talk about chlorine we knew chlorine requires only one electron so we have two chlorines over here one this chlorine and one this chlorine so one can be donated here and one can be donated here so that magnesium will also attain the stability magnesium wants to complete its outermost shell na so after donating the electrons magnesium will become mg2 plus i have told you the number of electrons are donated are actually shown here the number of electrons are donated that plus sign would come now each chlorine is taking one one electron so here just have a look this different color one electron is taken from magnesium here again one electron is taken from magnesium so these cl are also going to become negative so one cl minus another cl minus if i'll talk about both of them so it will be two cl minus and in this manner we come to know that mgcl2 is actually combining together why opposite charges positive and negative charges so here this is the procedure how this is actually made so magnesium atom has 2a2 electronic configuration where if it wants to attain the noble gas configuration it has to lose this two electrons right so it will lose two electrons and the chlorine is actually going to gain the electron each chlorine will get one one electron and hence both the chlorines are going to get those two electrons from mg that is magnesium and then finally we can see that if magnesium gives one electron to each chlorine then mg will become mg2 plus ion and two chlorine each that is two cl minus ion each and here it will attain the noble gas configuration so again this is what this is ionic bond formation so the positive and negative ions attract each other and they form the ionic bonds in magnesium chloride simple talking about the next part so before moving forward with the covalent bond let's have a look at the awesome diwali dhamaka offer what's that for any courses which you are purchasing if you want 75% discount just use the code diwali75 and you can attain the discount of 75% what do you have to do just use the code diwali75 and yes this offer is valid till 27th october only you know 
if you want to use all of the important things which are important for the government job aspirants that is our exam for official application what do you have to do just go to the play store type exam for over there download it and where you are going to get the live paid courses with the test series free subject wise and topic wise quiz with the report card job alert admit card examination date all exam previous year pdf with the solution free all india scholarship test with the report card topic wise free live classes free full length and sectional test with the report card free exam wise pdf and practice set pdf daily weekly monthly current affair then we have unlimited subject wise practice set questions all these at a single platform and yes what do you have to do just go to play store type example app over there click on the install button click on the open part just do the registration and start using it simple okay let's move forward with the covalent bond now before moving to the covalent bond my question is what was happening in the called a uh, sorry what was happening in the ionic bond can you answer that just try to remember that what i was telling you please waiting just try to remember what was actually happening to the electrons there so i guess you have the answer now you have already thought of sir we have understood there actually transfer of electrons was taking place if i'll write for ionic bond here for the ionic bonding what was happening for the ionic bonding there was the transfer there was the transfer of electrons right but here there would be no such transfer here there would be mutual sharing what's that let's have a look so covalent bonds are formed by mutual sharing just have a look what is happening mutual sharing of one or more pair of electrons between any two atoms now there are stable they are stable non ionizing particles and non conductors at any state now if i talk about its condition so both atoms should have high electron affinity we already know that love towards the electrons high ionization energy remember what's that if i talk about ionization energy it is the energy that is required to take out the electron from the outermost shell and high electronegativity that is if i'll talk about this high electronegativity this means what if i'll talk about electronegativity this means if there's a element and it requires the electron so this means when we are moving from left to right if i'll go towards the non metals they actually require the electrons so they will be having more electronegativity right so it is the requirement of electrons now if i'll talk about o2 co2 c2h Six S two O S I C. All these are the examples of covalent bond. Now, how this mutual sharing is taking place? Let's have a look. So, let me tell you. Here, when we are talking about the mutual sharing, it may be single covalent bond, it may be double covalent bond, or it may be triple covalent bond. For example, if I talk about single covalent bond, let's talk about hydrogen. We know that hydrogen has a atomic number that is one, so it will be having a single electron. So, what if? there is one more hydrogen which actually comes into the scene another hydrogen which will come into the scene will also have one electron so these hydrogen will do what they will say okay let's share the electrons in this manner what is going to happen this hydrogen is going to have two electrons and in the similar manner this hydrogen will also have two electrons both of them are having now two two electrons why because of the sharing purpose you can understand it by the simple concept of marriage for example whenever you will get married so husband If he is earning fifty thousand, wife is earning fifty thousand. This means the total value is one lakh. The same thing is happening here. So if someone asks your income, so here what we can say, mine income and wife's income is same income, same for the wife as well. But if I'll talk about the real world example, so our fifty thousand is fifty thousand, but wife's fifty thousand would be one lakh because our money is their money, but their money is not our money. Jokes apart, on a very serious note, the same example gets comes here. Where if I'll talk about this hydrogen, another hydrogen is giving also one electron. It is also giving one electron, but they are not transferring them. They are actually sharing them, and because of that, both of them are stable. So yes, this is single covalent bond. In the similar manner, there is double covalent bond, triple covalent bond. One by one, let's have a look at this example. Now, first of all, talking about single covalent bond. What is that? Single covalent bond is formed by sharing of one pair of electrons between atoms. each atom contributing one electron now here we were talking about hydrogen right 
Now, if I'll talk about this double covalent bond, so double covalent bond is formed by sharing two paired of electrons between atoms. Each atom contributes two electrons. There we were talking about one here, two. In the similar manner, I'll go with three. So, triple covalent bond is formed by sharing three pair of electrons between the atoms, each atom contributing three electrons. Simple. From the name itself, it is clear. Now, some molecules have a combination of single, double as well as triple bond. For example, you can talk about ethene. So, here C2H4 if I talk about. So, it is the example where you can have different, different types of bond in a single part. Now, what is polar and non co what is polar and non-polar covalent bonds? So, I told you about the electronegativity difference, right? So, yes, let us come back to this point. If I talk about covalent bonds, we knew they can be classified into polar and non-polar covalent bonds. What is polar bond? So, bonds are polar when one element in a compound is more electronegative than another. For example, HCl. So, if I talk about HCl, we know that here chlorine is more electronegative than H. How? Remember, periodic table, whenever we will move from left to right, whenever you are moving from left to right, electronegativity is going to increase. So, hydrogen was here, chlorine is here. Chlorine is in the 17th group, hydrogen in the first group. So, yes, chlorine is more electronegative than hydrogen. In the similar manner, H2O. So, these polar bonds are the ones where one of the element in the compound is more electronegative in comparison to the other. Right? So, SCL and H2O would be its example. Now, if I talk about the non-polar bonds, so non-polar bonds are a shared pair of electrons are at equal distance from both the locations, that is both the atoms. So, here you can talk about Ni N2 or CO2. So, here we can talk about non-polar bonds. So, again I will say in the polar bonds, one of the element was actually more negative than the another, more electronegative in comparison to another. But non-polar bond is totally opposite. In non-polar bond, shared pair of electrons are equal are at equal distance from both the atoms. Simple. So here N2 and CO2 can be the example. So yes, we were talking about Diwali Dhamaka offer, right? So this Diwali Dhamaka offer is of great use for you all. Just use 75%, uh, just use the code Diwali75 for 75% discount. And yes. This, co this code is going to be very, very useful in all the examinations. But the main thing is that, please remember, what is going to happen? This is only valid till 27th of October. Fine. Now, where you are going to use it? So, we must be aware of, there is an example official application, which has live paid courses. Then, we have free subject wise and topic wise quiz with the report card, job alert, admit card, examination date, what not. Everything at a single platform. We have all examination previous year PDF with the solution, free all India scholarship test with the report card. We have topic wise free live classes, free full length and sectional test with the report card, free exam wise PDF and the practice at PDF, then daily, weekly and monthly current affairs, unlimited subject wise practice at questions, all these things at a single platform. Just do what? Just go to the play store, type example over there, click on the install button, click on the open part. Just do the registration and start using it. Simple. Okay. Now comes the third type of bond. But before moving to this bond, let's have a revision. I have told you, when I talk about ionic bond, when I am talking about this ionic bond, here, transfer, here, transfer of electron was taking place. For example, we can talk about NaCl, MgCl, too many examples are there. Now, but if I talk about this covalent bond, in covalent bond, there is a sharing. There is a sharing of electrons, right? Where you can take the example of what? H2, N2, O2, all these. Now, if I talk about this category, it is in single covalent bond. Then, there is double covalent bond. And yes, there is also triple covalent bond. And one more thing, if I talk about it, here we have polar and non-polar covalent bonds as well. So, what were polar covalent bonds? In the polar covalent bond, one of the element was more electronegative in comparison to another. But if I talk about this non-polar, here when the bonding is done, it is equal sharing. Fine. 
So yes, there is no such concept of electronegativity. That this particular element will be more electronegative and all. No, there is no such concept in non-polar bonds. But yes, in the case of polar bonds, here one of the element is more electronegative than the another. Okay. So okay. Now talking about this coordinate bond. Now just try to think. If I talk about let's say N two, so N two would be ionic bond or covalent. Please think about the answer. Please till then I am drinking water. Yes, so I guess you have your answer. When we are talking about N two, this means we are talking about the mutual sharing of electrons, and that is covalent bond. Simple. Talking about coordinate bond, what's that? Coordinate bond is a bond that is formed by sharing an electron pair from a single atom only. Now you must be wondering, sir, what sharing of an electron pair from a single atom only? What does it mean? So I'll show you by drawing a diagram. But before that, let's have a look. What's here? So here, one atom should have at least one lone pair. Now, what is lone pair? So, if I talk about any of the element where we have two of the electrons which are not taking part in this particular bonding. So here, I'll say that okay. So this is the lone pair, lone pair of electrons. Now, this electrons will be used in bonding somewhere where we'll talk about coordinate bond. So I'll just explain this part. Just wait a little. So here, what is what? One of the atoms should have at least one lone pair. So there will be two electrons. Here you can talk about NS3 or H2O. Now, if I talk about another atom, should be a short of at least one lone pair of electron. Now this is very important condition. This is very important condition. Please remember what I'm talking about. If I'll go with this NH4 plus, let's try to understand. If I'll go with this NH4 plus, this means let's try to make it a bonding part. So nitrogen actually has five electrons. Five five electrons in the outermost shell. So here it is actually like this. Five, yeah. So I'll do one thing. I'll make it again. Let's make it here. Yes. So if I talk about NS three, so one H here, one H here, one H here. So they have actually done what? These hydrogens are safe now because their bonding is complete. If I talk about nitrogen, then also it's Part is totally complete because it is having eight electrons now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But these electrons, see, there are two electrons. These electrons can be shared with this hydrogen because there is no such. If I talk about positive charge, this means it is lacking of electron. So here, what can happen? Since it is lacking electron, there is no such electron, and for hydrogen, we require two. So these two electrons can be given to this hydrogen, and hence, in this manner, we talk about. Coordinate bond. That this is actually a coordinate bond. Okay. So this was all about bonding. And now we'll meet in the next class. If you have any doubt, comment section is always there for you. So we'll be we'll, uh, we'll be meeting in the next class. And yes, I'll be clearing all your doubts which are there in the comment section. So bye bye everyone. Please take care and have a safe Diwali.